One of the things I often hear regarding the interpretation of the Bible is that people think you can just pick the Bible up and read it and do what it says. Which, to a degree, you can do that. But it's a very simplistic view because there are things in the Bible which, firstly, are complex. Secondly, we don't fully understand exactly what they mean and also thirdly we can find scriptures that seem to contradict each other so if you're just going to try and um, you know put into practice what it is that you've read what do you do when you find a scripture that contradicts uh, another one now some people might um, be gathering up their stones getting ready to to put me to death because I dare suggest that there are contradictions in the Bible but um, you know there's I'm going to show, share with you today uh, one example uh, of a contradiction and I think it's a, a great example uh, people who know me have, have no doubt heard this example before but I, I'd like to use it because the contradiction actually comes uh, in two consecutive verses and it's from the book of Proverbs in Proverbs chapter uh, 26 and in verse 4 it says do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you will be like him yourself. Now, if we take that at face value, it seems straightforward. You know, uh, a fool in, in the book of Proverbs really refers to someone who is, you know, morally, morally deficient. OK, so do not answer a fool according to his folly or you will be like him. And we and we take that at face value and we say, well, yeah, that that makes perfect sense. You know, don't let somebody drag you down to their level okay and so if we take that scripture and we say i'm going to apply that to my life then basically when i'm engaged in conversation with people and they're clearly um being foolish then you know i don't have to engage with them i can i can walk away and, and go and do something else and we might say fine when, and we and we apply that scripture to our lives then we decide to carry on reading and read verse six or sorry verse five and it says answer a fool according to his folly or he will be wise in his own eyes now again at face value and taken in isolation that seems to make sense how on earth are we ever going to uh, teach and educate people if we don't answer them uh, if we don't answer a fool according to their folly so it makes perfect sense that we should answer them otherwise they will think that they're they're wise in their own eyes you know that's that's how we teach people so it makes sense by itself but then we put the two scriptures together and very quickly we realize, well, hang on, this is telling me to do the exact opposite thing. Verse four tells me I should not answer a fool according to his folly. And then the next verse tells me I should answer a fool according to his folly. So now let's go back to our way of interpreting. And if we just simply say, interpreting the bible is easy pick it up read it do what it says my response is what do you do here do you answer the fool or do you not answer the fool now i believe the solution is is actually straightforward um we need to as christians uh, exercise judgment we need to know when we apply which scripture in which situation and of course knowing how to do that is you know that's really uh, wisdom isn't it that's how that's <laughs> we learn through life experience of when uh, when to say something and when not to say something so both statements in and of themselves are true but they can't be true at exactly the same time in exactly the same situation and so therefore we do need to exercise care we do need to exercise a good judgment when it comes to applying scriptures.